Assalamu alaikum kids hope that you all are having a great week this is your english teacher with another interesting english lesson dear kids do you know that fatherhood is a lifetime responsibility with its challenges sweetness and bitterness so our today's chapter is all about a responsible father who is working far away from home so let's start unit number 2 the three little goats on page number 6 Let's start this chapter with reading and explanation. Mr. Berkey is calling Mrs. Berkey. Mrs. Berkey, how are you? Mr. Berkey, I am fine. I can talk for long. Mrs. Berkey, are you in the mountains? Mr. Berkey, no, my mobile doesn't work in the mountains. I am in town today. Now here, Mr. and Mrs. Berkey are talking over mobile phones. Mrs. Berkey is asking to her husband that is he in the mountains, but he said that his mobile phone doesn't work in the mountains so he is in town today mrs burkey how is the work mr burkey it's going okay we are collecting materials for the bridge mrs burkey what is it made of wood mr burkey no it's made of stone and steel what's everyone doing at home mrs burkey Saira and Imran are doing their homework. Nadia is reading her new book, so she doesn't talk. She doesn't sleep. She just reads all the time. Mr. Burkey, say hello to the children. I must go now. Mrs. Burkey, good luck with the bridge. I hope it doesn't fall down. Now here, Mr. and Mrs. Burkey are talking about their daily routine work as Mr. Burkey is far away from home. All right kids now a reading and explanation is done so now it's time to learn some new words from unit number 2 the three little goats so let's move towards the first word mountain a mountain is a large landform that rises above the surrounding land in a limited area usually in the form of peak let's move towards the next word bridge a structure carrying a pathway or roadway over a depression or obstacle such as river now let's move towards the next word steel steel is an alloy of iron with typically a few percent of carbon to improve its strength let's move towards the last word wood It is the hard fibrous substance composing most of the stem and branches of a tree or shrub. So now we are done with reading explanation and difficult words. So now it's time to grow your vocabulary. So let's move towards the first vocabulary meaning. Sleep, a condition of body and mind which typically recurs for several hours every night in which the nervous system is inactive let's move towards the next word fall move from a higher to a lower level typically rapidly and without control let's move towards the third word stone hard solid non metallic mineral matter of which rock is made especially as a building material Let's move towards the last vocabulary meaning. Luck. Success or failure apparently brought by chance rather than through one's own actions. All right kids, now here we have one text exercise. Exercise number 1 on page number 6. In this exercise, one question is given. You have to find out the answer and copy down this work in your notebook. The question is here, where is Mr. Berkey? The answer is, Mr. Berkey is in town. All right, kids. Now here we have another text exercise, which is exercise number two on page number six. In this exercise, five questions are given, which you have to answer by recalling the conversation in between Mr. and Mrs. Berkey. So let's start doing this exercise with question number 1. Can Mr. B use his mobile in the mountains? The answer is no, it doesn't work in the mountains. Question number 2. What is Mr. B doing today? 
The answer is he is collecting materials for the bridge. Question number three. What are Saira and Imran doing? The answer is Saira and Imran are doing their homework. Question number four. What will the bridge be made of? Answer is it will be made of stone and steel. The last question is why doesn't Nadia talk much? The answer is here she doesn't talk much because she just reads all the time. Now you must copy down this work in your notebook very neat. All right kids now here we have another text exercise which is exercise number 2 on page number 7. In this exercise, some incomplete sentences are given, which you have to complete by using the words from exercise number 1 on the same page. So, let's start doing this exercise with sentence number 1. Today, long bridges are made of steel. Number 2. High buildings are made of steel. They are not made of plastic. Number 3. Farmhouses are usually made of bricks. Number 4. Windows are made of wood, steel or plastic and glass of course. Number 5. A small hen house is usually made of wood. Now you have to copy down this work in your notebook very neatly. Alright kids, now our text work is done and now it's time to start the grammar work. Today we have a very interesting topic, conjunctions. A conjunction is a joining word. We use conjunctions to join two words, phrases or clauses together to make one long sentence. Now here are some common conjunctions. And, as, or, so, then, but. Now let's start using these conjunctions in some of the phrases and sentences. The first one is Ronnie and Maureen. Now here are two different words Ronnie and Maureen and here and is using as a conjunction in between these two words. The next example is K drinks coffee and J drinks tea. Now here are two different phrases K drinks, J drinks tea and and is using as a conjunction here. It is joining these two phrases. The next example is we can eat pizza, we can eat burger. These are two different sentences. We can eat pizza or burger. Now here or is using as a conjunction in between these two sentences. The next example is two and two make four. The man is poor but honest. Now let's move to words and exercise from the grammar portion. It is exercise number 3 on page number 10. In this exercise, a paragraph is given which you have to fill with some of the conjunctions. I am going to read out this paragraph and fill out the conjunctions in the blanks. I was not sleeping well because I was dreaming about the wolf in the story. Suddenly I woke up and heard a noise outside. The house, it sounded like the big wolf. At the first, I was afraid, so I didn't get out of the bed. I tried to get to sleep again, but I couldn't. Then I heard the noise again, so I got out of bed and went to the window. I looked out of the window, but I couldn't see anything. Then I saw an animal under the trees. It wasn't a wolf, because its tail was longer than a wolf's tail. Suddenly, it ran up to the tree and I saw it was a monkey. I went back to bed and went to sleep. Alright kids, so here we have the last grammar topic from our today's lesson. Gender. We can define gender as the social and cultural rules and behavior patterns associated with maleness and femaleness. Let's start doing this work with the first word. Line The male gender is line and the female gender is lioness. Let's move towards the next word. Drake The male gender is drake and the female gender is duck. Let's move towards the next word. Fox the male gender is fox and the female gender is vixen.
let's move towards the last word bull the male gender is bull and the female gender is cow now that's all from today's lesson i hope you enjoyed the lesson see you next week